Double on the three apostles of the Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to all the Yakim, all the bishops, all the elders out there pushing this word in truth and sincerity for what to all of you. Um, I'm just gonna get straight into this video that I came across. Um, I'll play the video and then I'm gonna bring out a few scriptures, uh, what I think about this video. So. Vaccinated will be banned from seeing their own sick children in the state's hospitals. Under the new strict laws drawn up by Premier Mark McGowan, the tough new rules will come into play from January 31. Only those with exemptions from the vaccine or under compassionate grounds, including end-of-life visits, will be allowed to step inside the hospitals, which includes visiting their own kids. What we have known for some time is that from January 31, the measures will be ramped up even more. We also know that the one thing the Premiers and the Prime Minister, for that matter, have been united on is the need to get vaccinated. So it becomes the ultimate test, doesn't it? If you're unvaccinated and you're going to what's deemed a high-risk area, i.e. a hospital or an aged care facility, the ability to go and see your loved one if you're unvaccinated may well be taken away from you. And could that be the trigger to make you change your mind? And I guess that's the force at play here. It's a tough decision, isn't it? What would a parent do? Confronted by that, would it make you change your philosophy? Maybe it would, and maybe that's what the government are banking on. Yeah, and do you have to have, um, Susie, do you have to have a Oh, she seems very um, happy about it. Booster to make you fully vaccinated in this case? I think at this point they're just wanting people to get the double dose and they'll deal with boosters a bit further down the track. But you know, I'm all for this. I mean, this is not about the rights of parents. This is about the rights of the sick kids and the rights of the elderly to stay as safe as possible at a time where we know we're dealing with a very virulent strain of the disease. And if you are unvaccinated without a good reason, without an a valid exemption, then you are going to find your movements curtailed. We went through this in Victoria months ago where even 12-year-olds couldn't attend their own primary school graduations until the rules were, um, were relaxed. So mm. I think this is what the government needs to do at this point to really shock and challenge people into, as Basil was saying, change their philosophy, change their action and get vaccinated. Yeah, other states have had various um, forms of this. And so, um, you can see these two are great advocates for what they were just talking about. So if you basic, what they're saying is basically from January the 31st, which was a few days ago, if you have a child in a hospital in Australia, I'm not, I think they were just talking about Victoria, but it, it obviously will pass throughout all of Australia. If you have a child in one of these hospitals and you're not vaccinated, then you cannot then visit your child, which then means they are the guardian, the parental guardian of your child. They have say, they have more jurisdiction of your child than, than your own child than you do if you're not vaccinated. So for whatever reason, and do you know how kids are? When kids are young, you will find yourself in hospital. Uh, when you're older, maybe less, obviously less but kids you know they get bumps and bruises and and chesty coughs and all of that so you will probably find yourself in hospital at, at some point and from there they can they basically have jurisdiction of your child they can hold your child they can possibly um, put your child into care say that they that they fear for the safety of this child so that um, with the parents not being vaccinated so they think that it's better to, to put the, the children into care so let me get straight into the scriptures because um, it, it does obviously speak about this as it does speak about everything so this is Micah 2 and 1 it says woe to them that devise iniquity this is iniquity well, that's a wicked thing what, they, what they've just devised and work evil upon their beds so when they're you know evil upon their beds is self-explanatory when the morning is light they practice it because it is in the power of their hands 
because it is the because it is in the power of their hand. That's Micah two and one. So that's a that's a grievous that's a grievous woe unto them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it because it is in the power of their hand. So that's that's that first scripture that I wanted to bring out. I also wanted to bring out Isaiah. to Isaiah 10 and 2 uh, well I'll start from 10 and 1 from the top woe unto them that decree un unrighteous decrees so that's an unrighteous decree what they've just um, stated and that right grievousness which they have prescribed to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless see Th that's basically what they're trying to do so the man is out of the way they've got them they've then the they've got the father out of the way then you get the mother out of the way and then you've got free reign over the your right your the prize is right there the children are the prize in, in a lot of this whole new world order you'll find that they're very um, they hold the child in very high regard even when you talk about things such as like Bohemian Grove um, uh, a lot of these ancient which which are taken from a lot of hermetic uh, ancient customs um, putting through putting the child through fire sacrificing the child um, even modern day age you have a lot of celebrities which talk about um, the secret to to vigor their secret to youth is the blood of children literally whether it be through transfusion whether it be um, taken orally the the blood of the child is very um, it's a big part of this whole Novos Ordo Seclorum it's a big part of their philosophy their ethos um, the child is very important the child is very important in the um, New World Order and it's very important in the Roman Catholic Church particularly the male child the male, the boy is, is more important um, than the woman th than the female child way more important than a female child um, I, I don't know the ins and outs of it but I do know that that they hold the boy the boy or tr the boy child in high regard so to slay the widow that's basically what that's doing that's slaying the widow basically saying that you're not vaccinated so we your child is now ours so um, let me get my next scripture that's what this is all about honestly a lot of that's what a big part of it is about because you can't have a new world order if people aren't with one of the biggest parts of your system androgyny being part of it and also um free free reign of the ch of the child like free access to the child whether any child your own or like any child they want free access to 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 all um, um, children to be blunt that's pretty much pretty much what it is they want free access to all people yes yes uh, we all understand that but chiefly to the child remember these people like to um, create hyperbolic time traders they have a very they have a lust for long life, for, for youthfulness, living forever, um, elixirs of youth and things of that, you know, fountains of youth. Where do you think they're getting that from? There's something called, uh, I'm not sure what the name of it is, but literally the blood of children, whether it be taken through transfusions or orally, um, they say is a secret to life. So 
they want your children. Uh, what do you think is going to be happening to those children in the in when they're in care? Yeah, some of them will be taken well care of and you know fed nice things and will be able to play Xbox and all the rest of it. It only takes just a few to be abused for for this to be a reality. What I'm talking about is is when these parents don't have um, when these parents don't take the injections do you think they're going to keep the, these children in the hospital for um, indefinitely no obviously not they're going to put them into care what kind of care see and even if it, even if they were put into um, good care is that still not robbing the the child is that still not slaying the widow Let's get this next scripture. And this is Psalm 94 and 6. They slay the widow and the stranger and murder the fatherless yet they say the Lord shall not see neither shall the God of Jacob regard it yes see and you see the end of that neither shall the God of Jacob regard it a lot of this is pertaining to the Israelite as I said before um, jurisdiction and power over all people is a big part of this new world order however the child is is a, a chief is of chief importance to them even though all people love of importance to them even further than that the israelite child is of great importance to them number one because the israelite child represents um future strength um, the opposition and it also represents the best of what they want the best of um, uh, the best of the organs the best of the blood um, the best of the skin um, everything everything is the best and you're saying the best of the skin what are you talking about why, why would skin be of necessity they're not exactly going to put it on well yeah they are going to put it on because the when you're making leather this is this goes back to um <laughs> well probably goes back to further than slavery but the leather this, this the skin of the israelite of the the dark-skinned nations of israel being judah benjamin and levi that skin has the most um durability is the most durable skin this is why it's used and sought after to make uh, a lot of leather jackets sh leather shoes wallets things of that nature so um, it was very prized commodity back um, during slavery like the skin was was sought after to make these products because it's a very you can't get that kind of strength um, to make durable leather anywhere else anywhere anywhere else other than the darker nations of Israel's skin so this is why I say that but it goes deeper than that it's also organs uh, it's also the blood would, would be because um, you'll find that a lot of these western uh, western customers that seek after the blood of um, younger vibrant children um, it wouldn't surprise me I mean this is you know I'm just I'm just speculating here but it wouldn't be really surprise me a lot of these kids which go missing during like Hurricane Katrina or um, any kind of uh, occurrence, major occurrence in Haiti, things of that nature. Th these kids, well, they don't all end up in foster homes. Where do you think they all, you know? Many, many kids during those disasters went missing. 
and if you can't get an Israelite child, where do they go to? They go to uh, um, places such as like Cambodia, just the East Asia. East Asia. They're very youthful as well, similar to Israel, um, and yeah, you'll find a lot of celebrities talking about oh, you know. Korean children and things of that nature so like I said look, the child is very important the child is a very integral part of the new world order I'll probably say it's even more um, powerful of an ethos than the androgynous part of it which is a big part of the um, philosophy as well but uh, let me get another scripture something that is not coming up but let me see if I can hold on it's like a uh, oh, let me leave that for now uh, see if this So this is wisdom of Solomon, Solomon 15 and 12 and it says, But they counted our life a pastime. Uh, a pastime is something not very serious. Um, not of great importance. But they counted our life a pastime and our time here a market for gain. See, as I was speaking about before, um, the blood, you know, organs, things of such as this nature. For say they, we must be getting every way, though it be by evil means. So this basically means uh, get our way by um, any measures, any cost. So yeah, count the life as a pastime, and our time here a market for gain. For say they, we must be getting every way, though it be by evil means. And some way, so, you know, some might be saying, "Look, that's a bit drastic for what you're t what you're talking about." Um, they're just holding uh, holding them in the hospital, just until their parents get um, updated with a vaccine, and then they can just take their kids home. <laughs> that's how it starts. When you start thinking like that, you've already you you've lost already. So let's. Go to seven. In fact, Joel free and free. Joel free and free, and they have cast lots for my people, and given a boy for an harlot. And harlot. Let's look at the definition of harlot. Harlot. A prostitute, sex worker, 
cool girl well the, the bible so says not cool girl cool boy that's what they're interested in courtesan oh, okay here it says male prostitute rent boy cool boy gigolo uh, grande horizonte tally tally uh, member of the oldest profession blah, blah, blah. so yeah there you get it rent boy cool boy um, that's what they're that's what they're um, big on and they have cast lots for my people and have given a boyfriend harlot and sold a gay said and sold a girl for wine that they may drink so you can see the Bible even here um, professing that the the whole wicked and the new world order they're, they're number one homosexual and number two um, into ki like the kid it's not just a, it's not just homosexuality it's homosexuality of the child of the child whose child your child any child um, and they don't discriminate whether it be well whoever what whatever nation and this has been going on this has been going on for a long 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 time you see it now in the uh, in the news you know they'll they'll talk about um what's that guy's name epstein was it, i believe it was epstein i'm not sure if it was epstein J uh, jimmy savile names such as this uh the catholic church when it spoke about I can't remember what the number was, but it said something around 4,000 cases from the Roman Catholic Church, and they issued a, an apology. That wasn't so long ago. That was just a few months ago. So this is very, um, you know, people just they put the Bible like it's just, <laughs> it's just a. I don't know how people look at it, but this is this is real. This is all real. I'll read it again. And they have cast lots for my people. Who are my people? The Israelites. What did I say? That after the, yes, that after all children, but chiefly the Israelite child. That is the the Negro child, the Latino child, the Native American child. Um, so called, you know, these aren't the true nationalities. Their, their, their nationalities are determined by their tribes so the Native American would be Gad the Latinos would be the Northern King, Kingdom which would be uh, Ephraim uh, Manasseh and so forth the, the Negro nations would be Judah, Benjamin, Levi these would be their nationalities but for edification's sake I'm just saying you know, Negroes or Blacks, so called Black people so-called Latinos, so-called Native Americans. Joel free and free, and they have cast lots for my people, and have given a boyfriend harlot and sold a girl for wine that they may tr that they might drink. So, you know, just a pastime. Boy for a harlot, girl for wine. Um, no, I've got a few more scriptures. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna leave it there because this. Uh, yeah. So that's that's um, what that video was saying. Australia from us uh, from the 31st of January, um, and for, uh, for some reason this woman, she even now at the, at the end of it, she's still smiling. Um, I'm not sure what's so funny, but maybe these people they find it funny because you know they're um they're uh, vaccinated and don't have to go through that or whatever but you can imagine what that must be like for an, for an, for a parent that you know maybe their child has a dislocated whatever or broke a leg and they're deciding whether to they have to decide look can this child heal on their own the, the bone might not heal right or do I just take him into the hospital and get vaccinated do you know it's having to choose between that having to choose between the medical procedure you're having people now being res uh, refused major 
um, major treatments based on their vaccination status um, but yeah some people the, the, the scripture says they're not in trouble as other men so these people they might not feel like it's it, they don't feel anything because it's you know they're not in trouble as other men they've done their part and they're going to continue to do their part um, whether it be free jabs whether it be 95 jabs or 100 jabs or 105 or 200 jabs or a jab every day or a jab every 12 hours they're going to do it they're going to do it because that's just the spirit which has been put on them um, they're basically cogs a cog to a wheel so they they're not going to argue against the wheel they're cogs whatever it takes to make the wheel turn they're going to do it and um, anything which opposes that you know they have no feeling for it's as simple as that it says it's as simple and complicated as that so I'm going to leave it there uh, hopefully this was edifying channel